Bob Maloney from MyMMANews.com, and I'm talking to Anthony Hoga back tonight. It's fight week for Anthony. He has his second career fight coming up at Art of War 17, May 22nd in Feasterville, Pennsylvania. Anthony, before we get into any of the good stuff, tell me how you're feeling. I see you just got done training. You got a hoodie on, so you're obviously cutting a little bit of weight. How are you feeling physically? You've been able to stay away from the nagging injuries? Yeah, man, I feel good. Um, you know, it's obviously a weight cut, so it, you know it sucks. It sucks a little bit, but um, you know, it's just what has to be done. But um, you know, overall, I feel really good. I feel um, I feel I feel full of energy, and I feel really healthy body wise. So I'm ready to go. Well, listen, this, since this is your second fight, a lot of times, listen, you you can talk about it, but until you make your debut for the first time, you never know exactly how it's going to feel. So this is your second fight. What did you take from your first one? What Did, did you learn any, anything big off of your first one since this, you know, is your second time doing it? Yeah, um, I just learned that it's, 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 um, it's really hard to replicate a fight in the gym, and you really... Um, don't know what it's like until you're in there. And um, when you are in there, it's a little bit of a shock at first. Um, but, you know, it, you, your, your instincts take over and your, um, your training takes over, thankfully. So um, that's probably the biggest thing I, I took away from it is, um, you know, mentally, it's just being in the right place. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm confident in, you know, my training and my team and we, you know, we work really hard here, and I have a plethora of, of uh, bodies and partners and different looks all the time. So, you know, I, I'm pretty confident, you know, at this level, there's really nothing that um, will surprise me. Um, I, it's just about me staying composed and doing what I do um, best and and um, just, you know, fighting my fight. Great. Well, listen, tell me about this fight against your opponent, McCaffrey. And, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about, you know, your head coach and, and 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 who's you know roughing you up in the room, getting you ready for this fight? Yeah, um, I, I I don't know much about Michael. Um, I've I've heard that he's you know got a, a good jujitsu base, so you know I, I'm expecting you know anything, but I'm you know I'm expecting that he, he'll probably try and you know want to go to the, the floor a little bit, and that's fine with me. Um, but um. I'm expecting anything, and I'm ready to go anywhere. I don't, I don't, I don't really care where it goes. Um, and um, yeah, that, and and to kind of segue into you know my team. I, I've seen I've seen a lot of good looks on on the feet and on the floor, and you know you know in wrestling, and you know guys like Terry Bartholomew, who's um, you know a pro, who's he, he's super close to getting in the UFC, and um, you know Luke Staley, who's a pro, and, and uh, you know, my two main guys for the past couple weeks have been Mark Googly Meany and um, Jonathan Maradiga Diego, who just fought um, Saturday, actually. So they're like, well, the guards are moving and they're here helping me. So, you know, I have really good teammates who care about me as I care about them. And, and then they help me with everything. And then, you know, my coach, coach, coach Rob helps, helps me with everything. And he treats us just like, like sons and, you know, he loves us and we love him. And, you know, he, he gets us ready for these and he cares about us. So I trust him. So I'm, I, I have full faith in my team and my coaches and everything. That's fantastic, man. I'm glad to hear you're getting all that love because you really need it. you have anybody else you want to say, give some shout-outs or love to that's going to be rooting for you, whether, whether they're going to be there buying tickets or rooting for you to have your arm raised? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's honestly so many. Um, but the most important ones are, you know, my, my, uh, my girlfriend, Becca, who's super supportive of, of this and um, – you know, I'm at her house this weekend, and she's like, you know, encouraging me to, you know, go run and and do the things I need to do to get this weight off, and you know, be in good shape. And um, you know, I'm sure girlfriends don't want to, you know, watch their boyfriends work out, you know, and I'm sure they want to would be rather doing other things. But um, so big shout out to her; she's the best. Um, and then my family, you know, obviously my parents and my and my sister and. And, you know, my uncles and, and um, you know, they're, they're awesome. They, they care about it. They're always asking me about it. And that's a good feeling to know that, like, people, you know, are interested in what you're doing. So, so big shout out to all those, all those people. All right, Anthony Hagaback, it was a pleasure talking to you for the first time. We will see you in Feasterville. And uh, best, best of luck to you uh, this coming weekend, man. Thanks again. And we'll talk to you again soon. Yes, sir. Thank you.